Hi guys, we're live and today we're going to uh, paint some backgrounds. Uh, I'm just going to give you uh, four ideas. Uh, I know it's kind of tricky to paint a background because you don't really know uh, if it's going to complement your work or not. Uh, so yeah, I suppose that this is very challenging uh, with the watercolors because we um, most often tend to leave our backgrounds white, but there are some very cool and easy ideas that won't really extract from your work. And uh, I think it's going to complement it nicely. Uh, here, for instance, uh, you can uh, have one uh, color background. Uh, you see, uh, this is gouache and watercolor, and you see that uh, the black really complements uh, the whole painting. And also painted this um, round shape. And here also I use a different color that I felt like complemented uh, the flowers and my uh, butterflies. Uh, this is an acrylic. Uh, background and I've painted over it with my gouache. Uh, here I've left it blank and it looks fine. Sometimes you don't really have to add a background but sometimes you really uh, give something extra. Uh, here as you can see with the ghost again we have these um, black background uh, and I've also painted over it with some white gouache. And here it's uh, my nutcracker uh, from last year. And I did this uh, interesting effect with the tree and the washes. And here are the mushrooms. Um, if your painting is like very busy, I think you can get away um, with the black, uh, with the white uh, background. And here is another piece of it for Halloween. And it's uh, black again, and I have some uh, splattering over there uh, with some toothbrush. So yeah. Also, yeah, here again, I have a turquoise background, butterflies, and there we have just some uh, washes. And here I just um, complimented my painting with a bit of background. It really depends uh, on what you like to paint and your aesthetic. Uh, here's another watercolor drawing. Uh, we have here, again, we have some washes at the background um, in sunset colors, orange, um, pink, uh, whatever you feel it complements your work best. So I'm just going to start working on our ideas. Okay, cool. Um, so today I will be using mostly um, watercolors to show you uh, some ideas. Uh, don't forget to tell me in the comments um, when you're painting watercolors, what if you like to leave your background uh, wide or if you prefer to add color or patterns or anything. I really like to experiment with my uh, backgrounds. I think depending on your subject is really nice to, um, to experiment. Ooh, look at this beautiful metallics. Um, yeah, so I think my first one will be uh, a rainbow background. Uh, because why not? I think it's uh, it's quite fun and it could work with um, most drawings, I think, whether you're painting a portrait or if you're painting um, flowers or whatever, really. So yeah, I think it's going to be really cool. So I'm just gathering my materials and I'm about to start. 
so I'm just going to use uh, for my washes my 10 round brush or maybe I could even uh, use the uh, cat's tongue but we'll see this as we go so I'm going to start with blue actually be yeah, I could be a good idea to work on wet on wet so I'm just adding some water here and then I will pick some colors for my um, rainbow background so yeah it would be a good idea to add some water first Just add whatever colors you like. So this is a very nice idea uh, also for um, if you're making a card uh, for someone and if you like calligraphy you can paint on top of it. So I'm just doing some blending and it looks good and we're going to let it dry. So our first idea is a rainbow background uh, and previously I showed you some of my work so you get an idea of the deep brand uh, backgrounds um, we can do. And don't forget to tell me um, what kind of backgrounds you like to your work, if you like to leave them white or if you add some patterns, some colors. So next we're going to do something fun and I'm going to do this soul trick. So I'm just going to pick out a shade I like. So yeah, I really like um, blue. So let's do the blue. It also kind of uh, looks like the sky. So I think it's really cool. And down there, I'm just adding um, a greener shade. So it actually looks like the sky and the sea. Just blending them in a little bit. I think it looks pretty cool. And how about some salt? Let's do this. So usually with salt you see the uh, results after uh, it dries. And it always gives some very uh, interesting effects. So this is like really cool. If you haven't tried it, I think it's really fun to experiment um, with salt and also with alcohol. If you have any at home, you can add a bit and see how uh, water color reacts with it. Uh, it's a very nice effect. 
All right, so here I'm just going to uh, quickly um, tape it so it doesn't move. And I'm just going to show you uh, some patterns, maybe um, some pattern colorful ideas for backgrounds. Hi, John. So this is a like very easy uh, background ideas for watercolor paintings. It's always fine to have a white background with watercolors and you can really get away with it. Uh, but it's always nice to also find uh, a background that really complements work and make it like more fun and interesting. So you can do some random like patterns also. If you're like into um, more intricate backgrounds. Here I'm just using my uh, Serena palette. And my cat sun brush. And we're just doing some nice uh, uh, brass strokes at the background. But that, like I said before, really depends on your style. And of course, on your subject, if you're like painting a portrait, you can have a really fun background with many colors. And Uh, if you're painting a landscape, I wouldn't really suggest this kind of um, background, but instead I would suggest um, the rainbow one or, you know, anything else. So, yeah, I really think that patterns are an interesting way to make your drawings look more like intricate and interesting. So here I'm just using my casting brush and you can do just attach your brush to the uh, paper and it gives you this very nice uh, triangle shapes that I think they're like very fun and you can really experiment um, with uh, moving your brush around I think this is a very nice idea as well. So next, let's see our next idea. So So I think uh, it's uh, it's very interesting oh, to also um, use a solid color as your background if that is something you like to do and saves like we said and you can do very interesting effects with the um, with salt like I saw it here and you can do uh, this really nice uh, blending of colors as well. And 
I would say that another interesting idea um, and technique, I'm just uh, looking for the right equipment for that, uh, is to um, add a fold on top of your paper, just add some paint, and then um, with a plastic bag, you can leave it overnight, uh, and then it will have those very interesting shapes underneath. Uh, there are really so many ideas. Um, you can also, uh, what we did with the um, salt, you can add some rice on top of it and let it dry and it will also give you some uh, very interesting effects as well. And those are like supplies that we will have at our home, like the plastic bag, the salt, um, and the rice. Um, since I really like to also um, add patterns and shapes to my backgrounds, um, I would also add some like um, loose floral florals. You can like paint various shapes. You can really experiment with it. Maybe, you know, it might be scary because you might think that um, the background doesn't really turn out to be as good uh, if you try to do something uh, different in my room your work but also might elevate it. So I think it's good to experiment first somewhere and then try it out to your artwork. so many things you could uh, really do. I'm just quickly giving you some um, easy ideas to do. You can paint something uh, completely abstract that you like on the background, like whatever really. Uh, you can also add some gold leaf um, instead of a solid color. Uh, so many things. If you really like to experiment, you can also do uh, various shapes, you can do like um, I showed you before. Like you can paint uh, a circle and then paint inside of it. Or, you know, you can paint a heart and then color you know you like um, and then paint inside of it uh, and those are like very nice um, ideas for for cards and since Christmas is like approaching uh, pretty soon I think um, Most of you, you would be making like beautiful Christmas cards, so it's nice to add a really um, colorful background to make them more uh, joyful and festive.
so yeah uh, this is what we did today I hope you find it useful and I'll be really happy to see your watercolor uh, drawings and your beautiful backgrounds thank you very much for watching